Welcome to Red Tech Channel, a new way to learn. So today in MRI, I am going to discuss the Turbo Spin Eco. Please watch the previous video before watching this. The link is given in the description. So let's begin. Turbo Spin Eco sequence. Basically, last we have studied about the modification of Spin Eco. In that case, is we fill or you can say we have seen that at a 1 tr we filled the 2k space filling but in this case the single uh, 1 per tr having filling by multiple echo in 1k space so now see in the turbo spin echo short form you can say tsc or you can say multiple spin echo sequence you can identify by their name also when we apply the 90 degree RF pulse then we apply the after that when switch off the 90 degree pulse then we apply the multiple 180 degree rephasing pulse this is basically in turbo spin echo sequence or you can say multiple spin echo sequence in the name you can uh, understand that multiple echo so in this case we acquire the multiple echo from the uh, hydrogen proton or you can say from the patient two names multiple spin echo and turbo spin echo so in this case basically when we got the signals or you can say time of echo so that signals are filled or you can say stored in a one k space filling by the different different spin or you can say time of echo in this basically turbo factor basically you must remember in this case the multiple of 180 degree pulse after each 90 degree pulse is called basically echo train length how many numbers of uh, 180 degree pulse you have sent it, you have sent after the 90 degree pulse that is basically turbo factor or you can say eco train length this is or, or in this case you must remember that when you shorten the turbo factor uh, we uh, obtain the t1 weighted image and we when you long the turbo factor or you can say number of 180 degree pulse increases then t2 weighted image we got the t2 weighted image so you must remember this point also and uh, if we got the number of echo at a single tr so the advantage is it reduces the scan time and complete acquisition in one breath hold so basically this is the basically uh, main difference between the spin echo and the turbo spin echo many student confused in tsc or you can say sc so in this that in this case Turbo spin echo reduces scan time and also the uh, sequence used in the one breath hold like uh, rare and uh, other also sequence which can be done by uh, breath hold also. Now here you can see the diagram in which you can see multiple echo contributed to a single K space per TR. So uh, first is 90 degree pulse and then 180 degree pulse 180 degree multiple 180 degree pulse so this is all about the turbo spin eco i hope you clear out all the points so do subscribe if you like and thanks for watching